thigh. You know you can cut the cost of a uh, protein uh, fins to your animals by using a Zola. My name is Martin Mwaki. I'm a Zola farmer and this is my story. Before I come to Azola Farming, I'm a student at Technical University of Kenya, pursuing diploma in quantity surveyor in uh, engineering. Uh, from there, I came across with my friend who do Azola Farming. Uh, I visited him, so I came to learn more about Azola Farming. From there, I got interest to do Azola Farming. Azola is, is an aquatic fungi fan. It is grown in a stagnant water or in a pod. Uh, it is uh, rich in protein, uh, vitamin A, B, and C, and other minerals. And it is good for fish, farmers, poultry farmers, uh, cattle farmers, and other others which we lay into our animals. Uh, the, it contains around protein contacts of around 25% to 35% protein contact, which is not easy to get to our fins, which we normally use to our animals. One good thing about Azola farming compared to other protein sources, uh, it requires a minimal input compared to other protein, con uh, protein sources. Because uh, for an instant, for Azola you will only require one lined water pod. Second, you will require, you'll require manure uh, and Azola seedlings and the cost of excavation of the pod. Compared to other sources of the protein inputs. Planting Azola is very simple. Uh, you will get seedlings from the mature azola. You take them. <coughs> from there, you will transfer it to the new pod, uh, which uh, uh, has manure inside it. It has manure inside it. And you will spread it over that pod like that one from there you will give it 14 days for it to be mature to harvest that is the way we plant azola in my case i have uh, four ponds uh, for which I, each pond i I constructed with around 5,000 Kenya shillings uh, and uh, in each pod every week I harvest around 10 to 15 kg. So 10, kg, 10 to 15 kg I do sell each kg at 50 Kenya shillings. So uh, in my case uh, in each every pod I get around 500 to 700 Kenya shillings every week yeah so in f those four points I go I get around 2,000 to 2,800 Kenya shillings per week uh, when it comes to maintenance um, Azola requires a minimum maintenance reason why every Azola is harvested every week so after every two weeks you will be required to use an organic manure. We normally use organic manure in Azola. Second, you will, it will stay there for around eight months uh, when you are doing harvesting. Then you can maintain uh, that Azola and you clean up that pod. And from there, after cleaning up that pod, you will be required to put another one and it will take for only 14 days 
from that 14 days it will be ready to harvest. The new plant, first I had a challenge, the reason why customers didn't know what I'm doing. First I started it, selling it to customers around at Kenya Shillings 20 Bob. From there, they came across to know the importance of a solar and the advantage of a solar. So from there, the customers uh, spread over the gospel about a solar. Uh, uh, they started came, coming up with uh, at a large number. So I list up my price up to 30. From there, the customers, they increased. From there, now at now I'm selling a solar at 50 bob per kg. What attribute to customers to uh, come to Azola, farm, uh, to Azola? One, in my area we have a large number of uh, pottery farmers. So when it comes to pottery, they increased, when they started using Azola, they increased the production of eggs compared to when they were using other fins. Uh, also in my area they practice uh, dairy farming mainly the uh, dairy farmers. Uh, they also increase the production of milk when they started using uh, Azola compared to other things. And even in my area, they are fish farmers. When they started using Azola, there is a change to their fish compared to when they were using other things. Yeah, I think that uh, attributing to more farmers to come and try Azola farming. For those uh, customers outside there who are struggling to get the protein contact to their, for their fins, to, for their animals, I'm advising them to try Azola. The reason why Azola requires minimal maintenance, second, it is a homemade. So you will not be required, once you do it, you will not be required to go outside to buy. You will be harvesting from your own land. Because uh, it doesn't require a big land so that you can construct those ponds for Azola. It requires a small space of land. Then you will put those uh, seed, Azola seedlings and they, are, they will grow for 40 days. They will be ready to harvest. From there, you will be harvesting after every one week, one week. So, you will, after those ponds, Every time you will be having those azola and you will be, you will be having protein which you don't need to go outside to get it or struggle to get it. My challenge is, uh, first challenge is, uh, it is the capital to construct and expand my azola farm. Uh, it requires a large amount of money. The second is about insect getting inside because these are stagnant water like frogs, tadipus can get in here so so that I if I fence I've minimized them so they will not be able to get in. I'm encouraging youth outside there to try Azola farming. Uh, the reason why for me I've tried it now it's the sixth month uh, trying it. Azola it has been profitable to me. Uh, uh, I was able, I was not able to cater for some of my expenses in those back, that back time. But now, from the time I started trying as a Azola farming, I'm able to cater for my expenses now. That my story as a, an Azola farmer, I'm interested to know what you grow in your farm share your story.